Oh, hey! If all of God's chosen people did that, would you have to go to Hyperborea? Class, today we're going to talk about a very special dog whistle. It's one in motion. And it happens on this app. You see, many people who use that 1488, like in this person's name, they'll get pulled further and further down the alt-right pipeline. And they'll be turned into cottage cheese crusaders. And they'll dog whistle to each other in a very unique way. The Fuhrer and Himmler both tried very hard to misinform the public using science, history, and pseudo-archaeology. They really crave the national identity. It's quite funny. Would you like to go on a magical adventure? Come with me to the land of make-believe. On a journey to fantasy land, I give you Hyperborean edits. Like a timeshare plan for Nootsies. Allegedly, it's underneath the Antarctic. There is a conspiracy theory that the Fuhrer didn't perish himself think it was a body double. Went to a bunker in Antarctica. Home hunters often reference it. You'll see symbols like this black sun. The land of Mayo Sapiens. Snowsiopaths. They train the Creamer Commandos. The origin of Europeanness. <laughs> Pian. Originally they said it was in Atlantis. It didn't pan out. So they said they're super weapons. Like that. <laughs> We're under the Antarctic. That's the algae's room in both life and death formation. What do you think it means? It means they're having a cream cheese crisis. There is zero doubt that when you see anything like this, despite it getting around most community guidelines on most platforms, you will always have a Nootsie on your hands. Cubic lice from World War II. They're not just melaninly deficient. They're humanitarianly deficient. And it's all the negativity and bad things of the Third Reich summarized in a way that gets them around everything. Now you know. And knowing is half the Hyperborean battle. Ah, <laughs>